Hello everyone, I'm Juliette Lamar and you're watching the Yo! Venice show and this week the car that's parked on Pacific Avenue, the hoarding car, has moved to Rose Avenue Beach Parking. We'll tell you all about it and LA County COVID-19 workplace cases rise just slightly. So stay tuned. But first I want to tell you all about our sponsor, Hypothermia Cancer Institute. It's the best cancer treatment that you've never heard of. Our top story today, we have an update for you on the Penmar Golf Course homeless encampment. The city of Los Angeles has taken actions in an effort to address the homeless encampment, and we have the full story in this video right here. And now for what's happening in your neighborhood. A car which was parked on Pacific Avenue for several weeks, which was appearing to be covered in collected items, trash, and knickknacks, has been in that space for several weeks and it has people wondering why. It also has mysteriously moved locations, so it's unclear how the vehicle has moved from the Pacific space to the Rose Avenue Beach parking lot in Venice on Wednesday, but a local resident chatted with the owner of the vehicle, Scott Aaron, who claims he uses the car to store items that he is recycling. Good news for Scott, even though parking enforcement starts up again today, Today, anyone who is using their car as a sleeping area will not be given a ticket. Now for an update about coronavirus in LA County. This past week, the county has seen a slight uptick in workplace coronavirus outbreaks, which is three or more cases in a single location. They've also seen an uptick in transmission rates as businesses begin to reopen. Health officials on Wednesday reported the average number of other people a COVID-19 patient can infect stood at 1.05, which is up from just 1.0 just a couple weeks ago. Health officials said that with this greater rate, they would anticipate seeing higher numbers of cases over time. The current number for people hospitalized with the virus remains low at 720 as of Wednesday, which is greatly below the peak levels we saw back in July of 2000 plus. Remember, just be safe out there, wear your mask and wash those hands. That's all the news we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliette Lamar and you take care.